Hey guys, how you doing today? In this video, I want to talk about the A2Geo and the A2 3D ground scanner. Both packed with really cool features, which I will go into fully as we play the video. The manufacturer Ground Tech has relied on technology and quality materials to get the streamlined designed to you so that you can take it wherever you need to go. This device contains a battery life of 10 hours in order to give you the maximum workload required. Now, if you're like me, there's always a problem with connectivity. Where is the Bluetooth? So we've gotten around that. We have designed, specifically designed an app that is gonna streamline your connection and all those issues of breaking connectivity, not finding the connectivity have all been taken care of. Now, another feature of this connectivity app also allows you to share the data real time on your phone, on other people's phones, on the device screens, so that means everybody on the team is with you. This alone sets these devices above the others on the market, in my opinion. Okay, as you can see, I've opened up the case, a very sturdy case, by the way. And for the first time, we're looking at the individual elements. I'm gonna start with the sensor, the charger here, universal, the headphones, and the three different size search coils, okay? Which comes with dual scanning technology of the MFS3 system. This here is your medium, your small, and in front of you, the large. And then finally, bring this out here to show you. This here is the monitor, which I mentioned earlier, the app from your phone, which will keep you connected and viewing your live data at all times amongst your team. And then finally, the cable system, which I will go into detail next. I'm very excited. Now the components I've just reviewed are essentially the same for both models. However, the difference with the A2Geo model is the cable system. Okay, now I would like to run through the control panel's keypad. Here we have the on-off switch. Here we have the different modes. Over here, the F plus is for turning on the LED light and for increasing its luminosity. The F minus is for decreasing the luminosity and turning it off. We have our directional arrows, right to left, as well as up and down. This here is the return button uh, or escape uh, to get you back to where you were previously. And this is the OK button or the enter. Now, let me turn the device on and we'll run through the different modes. We'll start with the ground scan uh, mode and the different settings here are the amount of steps you can allocate, the line, the direction, the pattern, and the mode. Okay, returning back to the main menu, we now go to live scan where the red indicates solid objects or hard objects, the blue indicates softer objects, and the green is a neutral zone. Okay, returning back, we now have the pinpointer, which allows you to indicate precisely where the metal is located, hence pinpointing it. After pinpointer, we have the resistivity where our options here are automatic or manual and then to calibrate it. Okay. After resistivity, we have the detector which can be only used with the search coil. Okay, I'd like to talk a little bit now about connecting your phone to the device. Firstly, Download this app here called G Portal. Once done, open the app and you're going to see up here at the top right corner a little plus sign. Click on that, it brings up the Bluetooth. Click on the Bluetooth uh, logo, it will then search for and find the device GroundTech A2. Click on that, connected. 
could not be easier. Now, let's start the app. And you are going to find the exact same features that we reviewed on the device previous in this video. And just as on the device, all the settings are there. Let's have a look now at the detector mode. Okay, go in there and let's try the advanced scan. All right, and as you see, if we go over anything metal, it will come up as red and also give us an audio sound. And again, with the detector mode, this time let's check out the 3D scan. Selecting that, let's make our field of a width of five by five. Height. Okay, and we start. Now with each step we take, we can click here on data and it will give us a reading of the field. The red, of course, is anything metal, green. Okay, and, and again, still in the detector mode. Let us now check out the pinpointer. Let us first calibrate our device. And then we will get as a chart reading whenever we detect metal. As you can see, we've changed the arm to that of the sensor arm, which we can now use the 3D scan mode. So going in there, we're going to have our field set to five width by five height. We press start. Okay. And again, we can walk the field by pressing data. Whenever a metal is detected, it'll show up as red. And with our sensor arm, we can also use the live scan mode. So we click on live scan here, calibrate, and again, green showing neutral, and the red indicating metal activity. And again, still in the live scan mode, let us try out the pinpointer, which again, give it more precise data measurements here. The higher the numbers, the probability of metal being detected. Now I want to talk about the resistivity mode. This is where we use the cable system which I showed you at the beginning of the video. Each cable will be placed at one of the four corners of the square field of the plot that we are interested in scanning. The device will be then placed in the center of the scanning field and that is where the magic will be done. The entire field will be scanned instantly and automatically. Let me demonstrate. First of all, we're going to put the control unit down here in the center of the area that you plan to scan, okay? And then we are going to go to the resistivity mode, which is going to allow us to do a scan of an entire area all at once. Next, we're going to plug in the cables, one for each corner of the field, okay? Easy to insert. All right, now these metal rods, which will allow us to create the field, will be inserted into each corner as such. And then we will attach the cable thus so. And following in a line to our next corner of the square, allowing us to create a cross X shape with the cables with the command unit within the center, okay? Okay, so now that we've plugged in all of our cables to the metal rods into the ground, we have created the field. Now we are ready to scan the field. So going to the resistivity, resistivity mode, we press auto, okay, and it scans. 
this. Now, do note that there is electrical charge going through these wires, so once this has been activated, do not touch the metal rods. In conclusion, both these devices have powerful features as we've reviewed. However, the Geo really stands out for its unique resistivity feature. Guys, I have been in this field for years, and I have to say, these two pieces of machinery here have really impressed me. Their sleek design, the state-of-the-art technology, and the preciseness of the data reading is very impressive for both amateurs and professionals. The team of engineers that went into this, as well as the factory that produces this machinery, all very respectable. Go for ground tech.